Hello guys, Flying the Cheer, welcome back to the Netherlands, where we are trying to develop stack and try to uh, get a very big capital here for almost no military power and diplo and admin power. It's gonna be interesting. Anyway, welcome back. We are at war with um, Palembang and Pasai, and we want to peace them out, but we had a problem with coalitions. We don't care about England. If we want to continue, we just have to take the land, you know. And take as many things as possible so they have they have a lo long truce and then piece them out. I'm gonna do it. So we do have two provinces here now, La Lamuri and Pasai. And they will become a trade company. We cannot Oh no shit. Now I cannot raise autonomy anymore because I made it a trade company, I think. Oh well. Uh, we can't help it now anymore. So we do have a trade. Two trade buildings here. We have a marketplace. We just need to upgrade the um, the harbor here. The uh, How do you call this thing? Center of trade. Trade center. We need to piece you out. Let's wait a bit longer then, that Portugal won't join. Take everything. And then we should have a bit of trade here. And we should get more light ships to help. The Tulip Mania, so the, we, we had a lot of Tulip trade. It was introduced in the 1550s from the Ottoman Empire. They quickly became popular among the rich merchants in the Netherlands as a luxury item. The market grew, and in 1634, when demand increased in France, speculators entered the market. In, 19, in 1636, a futures market was created. You know, futures. What we have right now. And during the autumn and winter, the prices skyrocketed until the prices collapsed in February. The result was the bankruptcy of many and economic disaster. This is bad. We get the tulip crisis for 10 years. Oh no. The state should alleviate the losses. 10 inflation. Sure. Let's get some inflation. You know, inflation is just a number, guys. I told it to you before. Inflation doesn't matter. It's good. I mean, we always have inflation. We have every year. We have around 1.5 to 2.5% inflation. It's really good. <laughs> now these boats are not merging up, which is really annoying. They should merge up, but they are not doing it. My explorer fleet has no explorer. Let's get one. Oh my god, you are fantastic. Let's do the circumnavigate the globe. Yeah, we are going to core it. Going to piece this out uh, next year. And then we'll be at peace for a while. Can we uh, seize land again? Yes, we can next year. And I think I will. General demands control. The oranges can get more power and we get 100 military power and army tradition or... Status, we gain two Republican tradition and lose war exhaustion. Now we don't have really war exhaustion. It would be nice if we can keep this number close to zero. Then if I click this one, they get too much power. I will do this. Hopefully this can stay below 20. So when we get a bad ruler, we can uh, quickly jump to the Republican side and then get a new election. Uh, we do have some diplomat diplomats available. I think the next war is just going to be England. I don't think I'm going to do anything else. Let the aggressive expansion tick away because nah, Europe is not that high. I mean, we still need to conquer Lübeck. We still need to conquer more land over here. 
We need to conquer Lone and Brussels. France would help me against Austria. Should we just take more land in, in Europe? We need to take the South Brabant state here. I think it's important. And we should take Haino. Of the Wallonia state. Could we vassalize Liege? No, it's still too much. But maybe after I take these two provinces, we can maybe vassalize them afterwards. It will be a really nice chunk of land, isn't it? And we need this one because our borders are looking very terrible. Let's get a claim. Yeah, we're going to be in Europe for a bit. I will do the uh, war over here. Yeah, Portugal is also... Oh yeah, and the hunt, of, hunt for the seven cities. Yeah, you have to do so many things, guys, when you are colonizing. Uh, we don't have a conquistador. Really? Jeroen Martena. We're going to do this when the third army is there. Is that a Dutch sp sprite? A Dutch sprite for the army? I think it is. And the institution is almost there. Good. We are going to get it earlier than a lot of other people. Now, as long as we are here, we should just do some rebel stamping. Ah, I can raise the autonomy. Nice. So, we will have 100 autonomy, but still the trade power stays. Autonomy does not affect trade power. and That's the only thing we care about for now. It will tick down slowly. And that way, we will slowly uh, produce some stuff in this trade node. Right now, we get the most out of Brunei. 0.55. So, what I... Wait a minute. We make 0.49 out of Pasai. So, autonomy does not influence... How much you get into the trade node? Question mark. I mean that is 5.8. 5.8 divided by 12 is a little bit lower than 0.5. Is that what is this number is? 0.49. Oh yeah, yearly 5.9. Yeah, so it does not matter, guys. Production is totally different. Autonomy does not affect your trade power and how much goods you produce in the trade node. Autonomy only gives you less production income and taxation income and manpower. And I guess sailors as well. Yes. But the other things, how much you make out of a province. How much goods you put in a trade node and your trade power does not affect. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, then only trade matters actually. If you want this to be shipped over to the to the Netherlands. What is happening? Oh yeah. Oh is our fleet gonna survive it? They are trying to circumnavigate the globe. Looks like they're gonna die. Oh no. Please don't die. Otherwise they're gonna die next to Hawaii. Yeah, they're gonna die. <gasps> We're so close, guys. We have one ship left with 10%. Done. <laughs> we did not succeed. <laughs> oh no. We were so close. Let's uh, 
make a new exploration fleet. Oh, we have so much. I'm gonna get this guy. Because he's cheaper. What's my force limit? 81. You could start building another army over here. Uh, where's my template? Here. Now we should not build a template because it's not a good template. I'm not going to build marines. I think four, four marines is not really going to do anything. When we have 15% uh, we can build a big marine army. I'm going to use that in Indonesia. On the islands there. You're out of manpower. Slacken. And one extra there. Let's do some conversion because it's super cheap. You need at least uh, 20 or 30 light ships here as well. Pasai is getting uh, wrecked. It's next year, so I will peace out Palembang. Yeah, Portugal is no longer in this list. There we go. Palembang and Banca here. We cannot raise autonomy. We can here. But not in that province over there. You guys go there. We will pour this. Uh, now we are at peace, so I can seize the land. I can do that right now, but the nobility will rise up. So let's wait a little bit longer. Maybe start the war here, and then we go to England. I should get a third fleet. Need to get a third fleet. We have no building slots anywhere here, right? Oh, we do have an Antwerpen. That's for the mill. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that's what happens when you watch Dutchie. You can get a lot of sneeze videos. I'm just a very sneezy person. I don't know why. The truce is over in September. Will we be in time? I think we are. Only the Tlapanek. This is one province. They're going to conquer all of this. Let's do it. Colony is ready. Nice. Some coffee here. Colonist is available. There's England. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. When these two are done, we get a colonial nation. We could start a Canada nation. Maybe colonize here and take over these natives uh, next to it. Could some do something here. We could go here. Or just continue here. I mean, this was Dutch. Make a Australian nation. I think... Wait a minute. I'm just going to use the ledger. So Ambon apparently is the best province to colonize. We have 30, 13 development. Which is over here.
Should we colonize this part? I mean, we really want the spice light, the spice lands. Should I? I'm just gonna go here, fabricate on the spice spice islands. They have no allies. And Makassar, yeah, we are gonna do, we're gonna do this. Get a trade out of the Mulakas. Now this army can never do enough to stop these rebels, so the rebels will come up here, unfortunately. Can't raise it. No. Um. Oh yeah, we need to upgrade the centers before we go to war. This one and this one. You are already at level 3, so... That should do, uh, yeah, we have the most trade power already. And my light ship. Where are these gonna get built? Yeah, only in Pontianak. That's not gonna do a lot. We need to wait until we have cores in the other provinces here. I mean, we have to help. Do they want everything? Mm. Lorraine, he could take Lorraine land, Switzerland. He... Then what? Wait, what? What happened here? The knights? How can the knights be there? Is that new? Oh my god, knights of... Oh my god. They are still here too. That's so weird, isn't it? I mean, I will click accept. Hopefully we can snatch Haino before the French do. I should arrive there first. Uh, what if I give you a very good fire? Yeah, more maneuver. Do arise first if I get there first. Will I be first? Both on the 3rd of April. Shit. France is not going to he to uh, Heino, Henegouwen, at the moment. You could maybe still. He's not going there. He's going to Rheims. I should be. I should arrive there first. At least we have this province. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the Palatinate joined. Uh, we have another merchant. Yeah, we cannot put him where I want him to put him. Why can we not reach that? I, I did not uh, restart the game. It's just my mistake. Uh. Does it matter when I put one here? Need more trade there. 
I want to put it here, but we have no range. So stupid. Now, let's put one here. We will put one there eventually, so. Yeah. Uh, you guys can do Hunt for the Seven Cities. Good luck. Maybe we get some nice events. Yeah. I'm really happy that we actually siege I know. And I will separate piece. Because I know that from not gonna give it to me. Okay, we are gonna get this institution fairly soon. Are the burgers happy enough for development? Yes, they are. Will happen as well very soon. Yeah, we are gonna get coalition. We are gonna get a coalition. And I wanted to build a new navy here. Now let's get 10 heavy ships in that navy as well. How is the religious map mode looking right now? Still things are getting uh, uh, converted. We have 32 heretic princes of the total of 40... 48. Really? That's a lot. Yeah, well that's correct. Everyone is almost Protestant. Yeah, Mombasa joins the coalition. Those are pretty easy coalitions. If we have to fight them. Oh, wait. Brugge first. Convert. Use the religious unity edict so it goes a bit quicker. I am going to take Haino he for myself. Attacked by the natives. Oh, we start with a very bad event. They lost their leader. Rip 50 military points. Do we still need 30 points? Now we are out of the HRE. No. Don't. We could take Munster. Um... England is colonizing, that's good, because they will become mine. Then we maybe should start claiming some land here. We do have a claim on Mombasa. Do we have a claim here? We do. We have one claim still, and we could easily take it. We should really do that war soon. And then I guess I'm going to claim Brunei or something. Uh, Siak broke free. I think. Yeah. And Majapahit is allied with only Johor. And we could get a claim on you. Let's get a claim on you as well. We can choose what we are going to do. We'll keep a diplomat available. France lost the battle against Austria in the north. We own Haino. No, Mr. Haino. Yeah, we don't have enough war score. Don't have to influence that anymore. Go away. And the truce with England will be over in September. In two years. We should really just wait for that war. It's too late now. Thanks to France. You have to blame France for this, guys. So, we will send our armies home. Also here, I guess I have another option. The rebels will spawn here. We can't help it. Still 800 ducats to get my institution. I will wait until it's uh, almost everywhere. I mean, these are all, all at 90%. Well, most of them. 
looks like our land is going to get uh, devastated by the Austrians. I'm not going to fight. I don't have the manpower. Let's see who's going to win here. So yeah, the morale of France is the same as ours. And we have more discipline. So normally we should be on par with France's army right now. Oh, this army is even worse. Yeah, France is losing because there are too many on one side. I would not mind France losing this war. I really won't. Now, how do I get more war score against uh, Haino when there is no nothing of Haino left? Do I get war score against Haino when I siege Trier and Koblenz? I think I will. Yeah, some it has arrived in the uh, coalition. Get on the boats. Come home. You can see your family for a couple of days and then you have to go to war again. I am sieging Trier. And France pieced them out immediately. Which means I don't get more war score against... Well, I do, because there are less participants. Really annoying. Uh, let's siege Lorraine so France cannot take it. I'm not going to bother by th these armies here. Uh, what is what is this? Dominance of the Protestant faith. The rich is spread it through Christendom like wildfire. Oh yeah. Yeah, we should use our church powers more than we do now. I mean, I should uh, substitute the development bonus and click that one back when we are going to develop. I mean, we will accumulate points over time. Yeah, that's way better. Uh, production efficiency can be really... well, not really. And when I take an idea, I should also switch to idea minus 5. I really need to remind myself from that. Let's get the discipline. This one will stay on for all. Uh, military things will stay on. When we are going to develop, we are going to change one of these to the development bonus. And when we take an idea group, we are going to uh, change the other one as well. And when we raise stability, we need to change it as well. And we should really do that all the time so it gets in my system. But it's not in my system, that church power. It really isn't. Uh, what is this navy? Africa. Well, it's not colonial anymore. Yeah, you have enough. Go to Den Haag. This is for the new fleet. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'm gonna let France lose. I'm not sure. I should siege everything that France borders so he cannot take it. Well, he is, he's gonna, he's gonna annex Switzerland, I think. Man, imagine if we have to fight all of this. Ugh. Uh, yeah, give me colonial growth. Where are all my colonies? Don't know. Annexation is done soon. We have. One and a half year to go before we uh, go after England. They still have no allies. It's looking really good. Oh yeah, we cannot select it. 
Our army is... Oh, and here you see the difference. We have more discipline and we have more morale. We have the same combat with, so we should win. Oh. Oh, but that's France with a super general. And he is running away. Good. Uh, our colony is done here. We need to finish one more and then we will be done over here as well. Then we're going to get a colonial nation. I think I'm just going to go to Canada or somewhere else. Uh, do we start our Dutch Columbia next to the English Columbia nation? I think I will. It's going to look very ugly. Oh yeah, and is uh, what is... Uh... No, they are still doing settlement growth. <sighs> the option is bugged, guys. They had 11 development, now they have 12. I told the nation to stop doing it. Dutch Caribbean. Block settlement growth. I can click on allow. It is blocked right now. And when they get an extra development, they keep doing it. So they will not stop doing it until they click a button. And this means that uh, Castile now got the other two islands. Weird mechanic and I'm super frustrated that it works like that. At least Brazil is colonizing. Yeah, and they only have two colonists, right? Mm -hmm. So they don't need more money. <sighs> it's really f frustrating that things work like that. But uh, what can we do about it? Just nothing. Okay, France is now finally winning his battles. We need France a little bit longer to grow. I mean, when my force limit is over 120, I will feel confident fighting the French. Especially with my money. Yeah, they, they have too much force limit. We, we, need to, we need to be close to that. Yeah, you can't select your navy that way, it's not gonna work. And we need more manpower! We have so much problems with manpower. That's a lot of manpower already. Yeah, there we go. Get a claim on these guys. Need to get a claim here and then send that one home and then peace out. Well, maybe peace out. I don't think we can. Seventy eight percent. Now, I cannot look if we can peace out, unfortunately. Just so, let's just siege what I can. Yeah, we have 27% war score, but will that be against Haino? I don't think so. Um, um, um. Yeah, they peaced out again. There we go. There, the, there it is, guys. It's the... Evangelical Union that we were waiting for. The Holy Religious War. Protestant and Catholics leagues will be formed. Wurzburg joined the Protestant League. Dith Martian joined the Protestant League. We are also gonna join the Protestant League. But we are at war, so we cannot join it. My game will pause all the time when people join. I set this option because I was playing as Sweden for the uh, achievement there. 
and therefore you needed to be leading the uh, the league. So, New Netherlands. I think I like that name. Are you seriously black flagged? No, you're not. Continue your trip. We will convert. 500. Yeah, we need to do so many things. I need to peace out. I want to get England and I want to join the religious war. Just for the bonuses you can get. Yeah, need to wait for these to, to finish. All my boats are here. Wait, I'm doing everything wrong again. I'm confused. Never mind. Let my navy go here. Okay, this is four heavies. That's nine. Yeah, get a bit more. Give to the state. Uh, yeah. You have 13. You have 15. Now what is my combat width at the moment? It's 27. Meh. We lost so many men on attrition on the seas. Oh my god. Oh my god. Unbelievable how much attrition you get. That's why we need marines. They don't get too much attrition. My god, man. Moluccan people request Protestant conversion. Wait, what? Really? Well, welcome to our faith, then. What? Three light ships? Here, go to Malacca. Let's get the mercenary discipline. We might use some mercenaries for some war soon. I mean, we are out of manpower. Can almost get my claim. Should put it on one of their richest provinces that I can reach. Denmark, I think. Integration is done. Welcome Dutch Britain. Welcome some more light ships. Go to Malacca. We need more there. We have four more infantry. Are we over our limit? We have two. We don't care about that. You guys, can you please combine... Get that army from there, and you have 30 transport, you have 32. I'm just waiting for the, the other fleet to be ready as well. Watch manpower with 17,000. I won't be able to peace out. We can only hope that France is going to give it to us. But uh, I'm going to stop helping. I... Sh shit. Oh. I stack wiped them. Please escape from here. We cannot lose more men. We need to peace out. We need to go after 
England. In September, I will declare the war in September, no matter what. So we won't be able to join another league. Not gonna happen. I have two free co free colonists. What is happening? Am I just not using them? Oh my god. Really? I should give you subsidies. I also forgot to give you subsidies. Start colonizing. Ooh. Don't do... No... No, 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 no. The AI is already doing it. The AI is already... Doing the bloody province improvements. God damn it. And they are not colonizing. Ah... <sighs> Okay, they peace out. Yeah, France fully annexed the Swiss. What? The knights are... This game is getting crazier and crazier. Uh, will I embrace? I mean, there's no reason not to embrace. All my provinces have it. Yeah, let's embrace it. We can stop all the edicts here. We are still busy. We will use the trade edict, but we will also start developing very soon, so I'm not going to bother by it. We lost too much, man. We really did. Alright guys, I have to end the episode in the next one. We declare war in England. We will get him back in our union. Hopefully our leader will now stay alive for long enough. Oh, he's 49 already. Let's hope he gets 60 years old. Otherwise we lose England again. And we have to go after him again. But yeah, we have to use our CB. Otherwise we, use our, we, lo we lose our restoration of union CB. So I really will go after England in the next episode. I hope to get Haino, but I doubt it. Anyway, I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.